the Kodak Ektar H35, 35 millimeter half frame camera. What do you mean half? Thank you. John Fidelity behind the camera. Hi, John. Hey, what's up, baby? Like everything you want to know is on the back of your box, by the way. Right here, here is your, your full frame 35 millimeter. See the arrow? It's showing you this camera. For each frame of 35 millimeter film, you get two images. 17 by 24 millimeter, which means for a 36 exposure roll of film, you will get 72 frames. That's a lot of frames. If you want to get the uh, optimum performance out of the camera, then it's very important that you, you kind of treat it very, very gingerly. Be gentle. Yes, you have to be gentle with this camera or else, well, it'll break. Here on the front, we have uh, two options, flash off or flash on. Battery goes here. This takes a AAA battery, which, gosh darn it, can you believe, did not include. <laughs> on the side is where you open the back of the camera. In case you want to test your camera, the film, the sprockets lay over these wagon wheels. And as you pull your film through the camera, these wheels turn, which ultimately cocks the shutter. So here, take a look. One, two, three. So that's how you could always, I mean, this applies to most, this applies to a lot of plastic cameras when you see these cogs here. One, two, three. Here we have what is known as our, our take-up roll, and this spool pops down, and you will load your film into, I'm using a roll of FPP Frankenstein. Ah. This is a 200 ISO film. So you may say, well, how do you load this? Oh, look at that. There's one nub, and there is a, a you know, a, a slot to put your film. I put the film in the slot, right? That's... Whoa! Now you have to close this. Make sure you close this up. Nice. Whoa. You gotta make sure your film is... There are a lot of troubleshooting to take care of in these little plastic cameras. There, you know, you have to be kind of aware of what's going on. So, now if you load your film like that and it's not sitting, oh, you see that? Mm -hmm. If it's not sitting flush on these nubs, it's not going to load properly. End of story. <laughs> properly loaded, great. Close it. Okay, let's advance. Goes this way. Arrow. Okay. Now, this number, they could have done us a favor by making this number, like, you know, a lot, a bigger. lot bigger. bigger. It's really small. But this camera, it's now loaded properly. If you get to 48 exposures, if you're using a 24 exposure roll of film, or the number 72, if you're using a 36 exposure roll of film, then you're done. And if you're done, you don't want to go past the number of exposures you have. You could have a jammed roll then. You could bust the camera. The film is light sensitive, so it's very important to not open the back of this camera while shooting. And when you're done with your roll of film, it's very important to properly rewind the film back into its canister. And in order to do that, you have to go here on the bottom, and you see there's an arrow. And this is done one way and one way only. And so there's two ways of doing this. The way that will, no, I'm serious. You said do it one way, one way only, but there's two ways to do it. Well, there are two ways of doing this. Number one The right is, way and the wrong way. Correct. The first way is to do it correct. The second way is to break the camera. If you do not press this button first, this releases the film, press that little button. Now you can follow the arrow ah, and rewind your film. If you didn't press that button, this would not be turning and you try to force it and you all of a sudden hear a very very small snap and that would be the plastic breaking off this camera i rewound the film now once again in order in order to take get your film out you don't want to be you know have big gorilla mitts and be like Argh! because it'll just snap you have to see that john i did now your film will easily come out of your camera now, this is just a little plastic piece. And as you can imagine, it could break in a second. Very simple to use. Follow these few quick steps. Um, remember to 
purchase a triple A battery. We will put it in, turn this to flash, and then this light would go on, say ready. These cameras are made cheaply and there may be, like some folks saying, my, the light never comes on. What does that mean? Well, if this light never comes on, you, when you first put your battery in, you have to give it enough time to charge up the capacitor. We're all so impatient today. <laughs> you may have to give it, gasp, a minute. Can you give it a minute? If the light never goes on, with no film on the camera, you have the power to test everything. And you have the power by simply turning these two cogs, cocking the shutter. Did you hear that? Mm -hmm. Here, one more time. Turning, turning. Ah, the shutter is now cocked. Turn on your flash. Wait for the light. If the light never comes on, still fire a camera, and there's a great chance that the flash will flash and that this little bulb just happens to die. The great thing about this camera is it's half frame, and half frame gives you an opportunity, I think, more so than regular 35 millimeter film, to tell a story. So when you're shooting with this camera, you're shooting vertical images, which means that with your image, you know, with your photography, you could create your own panels, like a comic book panel of telling a story or creating, let's say, a triptych of a landscape or some portraits of your friends. You say to your friend, hey, smile, be sad, be surprised. Boom, 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 you've told a story. <laughs>